What does it take to do the very best branding work on the planet? Well, the five projects I'm going to share with you in this video are the pinnacle, according to the judges of the 2022 DNAD Awards. Let's have a look at the top level pencil winners. So here are the top five. I've selected in this left column the black pencil, just one of those, and yellow pencil winners. These awards uh, progress down. And let's have a look at them. So I've got them opening tabs here, actually. Firstly, the 58th Golden Horse Award. So this won the yellow pencil for branding in the motion subcategory. Uh, this was a designer just named Beto. This is from Taiwan. Uh, nice to have something from the East here on the channel. We tend to have a lot of uh, Western related things because I speak English. So have, let's have a look at this video. So this is an identity. Let me skip back for a film festival as you can read here there's english there too and we see these motion posters so what do we have we have this 3d kind of looks like an abstraction but here the name horse and i can sort of see the form of a horse here through these tubes and apparently a return into after covid this is the idea of things coming into focus and out of focus and are ideas about proximity it's all in there it's all kind of inspired but these posters are, are very elegant there's an underlying identity uh, below them with this color scheme with the gold and then this light blue that work really well together and then a lot of black and white and i really like this production design with all these different size uh, light boxes of different forms it just creates something that's very sculptural and then this elegance that really comes through all these little elements so we see here with this titling the way they've used from the tube and then you know the circular form that evokes that and all these graphics have that sort of elegance the way they move they ease in and out uh, all the motion uh, is a consistent form of motion theory that just adds to the elegance which they're obviously going for with this primarily uh, using this gold color but the way they use it in a simplistic form and just accent um, these blues and that, then they can get into more interesting compositions as necessary. Best film editing, clever little uh, animation to, to represent the editing process. And they've just really made the most of these 3D assets by you know animating them in the space and also having still versions of them. When you look, actually look at the award trophies, which you'll see in some of these clips, it's more of an... Uh, a naturalistic representation of a horse and that's how the uh, previous uh, main logo for the awards is as well but they've decided to really update it by doing something uh, more minimal more graphic uh, more sculptural uh, which lends it a, a sense of modernity uh, as well as this elegance. So I think this is really executed uh, very nicely throughout. So great work from uh, Beto and nice to have something from uh, Taiwan and that region here. The next is an identity for another award ceremony, the National Magazine Awards in Canada. And let's have a look at their video. These little brand videos are kind of a, of a key thing. This uh, is celebrating excellence in journalism. You can read that on the screen. And they have taken a simple idea, but you know, these sort of simple ideas are not that easy to get to. And the most distilled, distilled form of a magazine, the spine, and you'll see that now. This is the primary device for the identity. It's the signature, it functions as, as a logo. It's the signature of, of the brand. And it's a very simple scheme red and gold with black and white was kind of this silver this light gray and there's you know helvetica style font here but just put together very elegantly obviously a modernist scheme here but executed well and i think this idea with the spine i think is clever when i first saw it i thought hmm, i'm not sure about the composition of these posters and such how does that work uh, graphically but when you begin to see it and live with it, I think it's a smart solution and simple things are seeming obvious at the end. That wasn't great English, was it? When you get to the end, you know, it's like, oh yeah, of course, the spine of a magazine. But the process to go through to get to that sort of idea and create something memorable uh, like this and to just execute it with this simplicity, I think is why 
uh, that particularly works. It's something that you remember. I mean, it seems strange to see if you saw an outdoor poster that was mainly just a red rectangle. Doesn't seem like a great hierarchy, but uh, they want elegance in, in publishing in this sort of industry. And uh, in some of the other applications, I think these posters, the, this triptych works a bit better. It's cool on a T-shirt. And then obviously just consistent art direction through when it came into the digital design, the magazines and such. Okay, the number three. This is in the United States. And this is for Bloom Season, which is actually commissioned by MailChimp. Can you see that over here? The email marketing platform. And this is a resource for entrepreneurs of color. And it is a space for conversations, as it says here. It's a digital platform, basically, to help resource and promote entrepreneurs of color. And let's have a little bit look at their film. And you can see a little bit of the feel. So we've got this heavy word mark here. It says Bloom. And then you go into the website. Do you know what? Let's just look at the website. <laughs> I got it here. So we see the word mark at the top. A resource with first-hand experiences and actionable insights to help entrepreneurs of color realize their ambitions. So this is really good because we have a very clear splash screen, effectively, where we've got the title. We know this is from MailChimp and it tells us in one sentence what's it about before we go into this interface, which is a lot more experimental. And that is a good way to combine the fact that we have something that is a bit different, it's a bit experimental, but what does that mean for the user? But because we've had the splash screen, it's already oriented us to where we are and that allows them to now uh, experiment and go a little bit more creative and break some of the UI rules. So as you hover over these different small images, we have larger images uh, that present. So there's a little bit of interaction. It's quite wobbly. I encourage you to check this out for yourself. We'll put links in the description of this video. And they've gone with this style of uh, illustration. It looks like one illustrator particularly commissioned in this certain style. And I, I like this kind of futuristic style, the way they've used this, the grain, uh, well, it's kind of like retro future, the grain and the color palette that is in use. And then also photography, which again has got this like very like art editorial sort of fashion style, a lot of use of these colored not on this one, but on some of the other portraits, these uh, lights and filters on the models. And we've got this kind of bright color scheme and it's it, it, it's bold to do, I mean, it's pretty low contrast this, but I like the fact that they're trying to, you know, bring some color and, and life into, into the thing. So have a look at this for yourself. And, and again, we've got the color filters on this portrait here, uh, which give it this sort of style. And this is in situ. Um, but have a look around this site for yourself. Nice kind of loading bar at the bottom, or progress bar, I should say, as you go through the article. Uh, what about as we get into the menus? How does this feel? Little wipe transition. Yeah, I mean, on this 5K screen, I'm not quite sure, like, if, you know, the interface sits quite, quite right. But um, definitely, you know, we're going through all different colors. So there's a lot of interest here and it's giving a feel of something youthful and vibrant and evoking uh, that kind of feel. And this kind of project, you know, definitely to be applauded that MailChimp are putting their weight behind, uh, you know, enterprise in, in this kind of way and trying to do something original. Okay, two more. Now another big client, Apple. And this is by TBWA, who are a big uh, advertising agency, but the production company is actually Book from LA, who are a motion studio I've admired uh, for a long time. And this is the app tracking transparency. So you might know the different privacy controls. You know, Apple have been talking about that a lot. So they've made a film on this. And it starts off, it's one of those explainer films. And I encourage you to watch this for yourself because when you have the voiceover and the music, it makes a lot more sense. And it starts off, it's very prosaic. You know, it's just every day. There's nothing too exciting about it. But then as it starts developing here, we have some more interest in the motion. It's not just a flat uh, 2D explainer video, although there's some elegance to the way it's been done so far. But look here, as these lines come in, you know, we have these blurs, the way the motion is jagged and things move, you know, as they would in, in real life. So 
there's some uh, cleverness to that and it allow, adds a lot more visual interest into the piece. But keeping it very Apple-like uh, with restraint, with white space, with a limited color palette. So this sort of design-led uh, approach uh, that is, you know, minimalistic with bits of flair uh, really suits Apple. Um, but it's a, a whole uh, look of its own as well. It has its own feel, this this video here and it's just something that's very cleanly executed and well executed and often just uh, a simple idea executed well is the key thing it's all in the execution you know we all have ideas for things but it's being able to edit those ideas and execute them very well that takes things to the level of quality where you're going to have commission by Apple so if you're a motion designer or working as a creative director or in brand to work on these sorts of ideas, then this is the, the level of execution uh, that you want to reach to. The final project is a hard hitting one. And look how many awards the Hoss class has won. So it's got two black pencils, which is the highest honor, uh, a bunch of yellow pencils, some graphite, some wood, a bunch more shortlists in all different categories. And this is by Leo Burnett Chicago, who are another large advertising agency. They also work with his production company, Hungry Man, in the United States. And this is a response to the National Rifle Association, who spend $250 million annually to advocate for pro-gun legislation. How do you fight for common sense gun laws while facing such a powerful Goliath? Let me read this full description so you understand the context. You use their power against them. We held a graduation ceremony for the lost class, the 3,044 students who would have graduated this year if they hadn't been killed by a gun. And we then had two well-known good advocates give the commencement address to the 3,044 empty chairs representing these lost students, ultimately turning pro-gun advocates into anti-gun spokespeople. This is pretty incredible. So what they did is they invited these NRA uh, board members and uh, you know former officials to speak at this graduation. But this was the stunt. They told them it was rehearsal to speak to James Madison University, um, University or high school, something, James Madison Academy, I believe it is. But no such school exists. And this was a whole stunt. And who they ended up speaking to was 3,044 empty chairs. These chairs represented students that would have graduated but failed to because they were killed by a gun. And so the, we have this incredible scene that is just impossible to forget of all these empty chairs in this huge lot out in Las Vegas uh, with this pro-gun spokesperson <laughs> proclaiming an anti-gun message without even knowing about it. And it's a really dramatic scene. And this got all kinds of uh, press you know, it was featured, you know, on CNN and a lot of uh, the big news outlets in the United States and really had a, a big impact, got a lot of social impressions and all that kind of thing. So by them designing this whole world and just this clever production design, it became a really, really strong campaign. Uh, and it just goes, seems to go on and on forever. This this scene of, uh, of all these chairs, it's... Uh, really stark, uh, you know, reminder of this challenge. Let's just let this play through a little bit. But again, just really nicely, you know, the tracking and everything just done in this very stark way to be able to tell this story. And uh, really encourage you to go and just let me show you this one. All these white seats on this field of green. I'm going to remember that. I encourage you to go and check these videos out for yourself. See what you think about it. And um, we can see through some of the still images, they created this branding for James Madison Academy, this fake school, which I guess was involved in, in the stunt to, to lure these people in. And then you can see some of the... Um, collateral and different imagery that they've created, like the mortarboard, uh, the photography of the empty seats, uh, the website to tell a little bit of this story. And uh, this was uh, widely shared, as you can see. CNN, Fast Company, USA Today, Washington Post, MSNBC, etc. I think this wordmark is really interesting. You would expect 
uh, maybe a serif font and the, the way it's been typeset you would often associate that um with things like you know funeral directors gravestones and that kind of thing but they've actually uh put some real flair into this custom uh, type which i think is is interesting you know it's still room to to give some design flair in this sort of situation and it makes it uh, more unique than just using you know a well known serif uh, and with the lost being in the negative space it looked like in, it, it's been chiseled out of stone like on a gravestone it's um it tells a story you know within the word mark graphically uh, which makes for a strong impact and i just think this this graphical nature of this image of the white chairs on the green field uh, particularly helps it to hit home and that just shows the power of uh, design and branding and uh, what we can do and the stories uh, that we can tell if you're looking to up your branding game all the way from strategy to identity design then check out our brand design mastery course link in the description for that and let us know in the comments what did you learn from these five projects are they deserving of their accolades thank you to dnad and all the studios and agencies featured and until next time happy designing